Hey guys, I'm Alex Pierce, and today I'm going to show you uh, a little bit about eCycles. If you're not familiar with eCycles, you need to check it out as soon as you can. Uh, it's not cheap, and uh, it's not free, <laughs> but it is incredible. Uh, you know, when I first looked into it, I was like, eh. and you can go, I'll, I'll put the link in the description, but you have this Blender Market, you can find it, and uh, it has a bunch of, you know, benchmarks on their website, and you know, when you first look at it, you, you never know as a consumer. You're like, is this real? Were the tests, how biased were these tests? You know, everything. But these are legitimate. And I can tell you for sure that these, this is real. All these, these numbers are real. Uh, and, uh, but almost more importantly than speeding up render times is, is just the general working. And, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Uh, but uh, but the, the best thing I can say is that recently I borrowed a $24,000 computer with an incredible uh, CPU, uh, a much better GPU. Uh, so, so my computer is a, uh, it's an MSI. It's got a RTX 2080 Max-Q, which is a decent, I mean, it's a great graphics card for a laptop, uh, but it is a laptop. And uh, this one had RTX uh, Quadro, 6000 um so by all standards a better graphics card and again much faster um uh cpu but running cycles on my laptop was faster rendering times and in the viewport than running regular blender on this twenty four thousand dollar machine so wh when i you know so when you look at it that way you go okay three hundred dollars is pretty cheap uh <laughs> so i don't you know it's 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 really insane and i think we'll just jump right in and i'll just show you so i have regular blender and I have eCycles up. eCycles, uh, this is the icon for uh, eCycles. So you can always look at the top left here and see this black uh, icon or blender to see which version I'm in uh, at which, which given moment. Uh, and I do have both of them open and I'm screen recording. So there's going to be some performance loss, but I'm not trying to set any benchmarks or anything. That stuff is on their website. You can do so, some of that own stuff, uh, some of that on your own. Uh, I just want to sort of give you, just show you a little bit about it. And I will say I've got the numbers here, so I can't actually talk about it. Okay, Blender official. So there was uh, the same scene took my laptop 17 minutes, 25 seconds, and 20 frames, I guess, to render. And with eCycles, the same exact scene, same exact setup, 7 minutes, 14 seconds, and 37 frames. Uh, and so again, 7 minutes, seven and a, basically 7 minutes to render on my laptop. Blender official on the uh, HPZ, which is a $24,000 machine, took nine minutes to render. Uh, so I, I want to give you those those numbers. Uh, again, this video is really has less to do to do with that than it does with anything else. But uh, so in Blender, the, the biggest thing for me is is really in the viewport because this is where you spend a lot of your time, especially if you're lighting and uh, and in and, and, and cycles, of course. So in Blender, you know, I have this set. I have viewport set to. Um, two samples and optics uh, AI accelerated denoiser and you can see you know as you move around you get noise noise and then it gets and then it does the uh, uh, the denoising right so if I this you probably know if you're watching this video you probably know this uh, but in e cycles the way their um, the way their denoiser works you don't you, you don't see that um, uh, what do you call it? The, the noise in between. It just sort of, it's just basically always denoised. Uh, and and it, it, it may seem subtle, but w once you've used it, it's hard to go back. Like sometimes I accidentally open regular Blender and I start moving around the viewport and I go, what's going on? And then I realize like, oh, oh I didn't open eCycles. <laughs> uh, and then actually, let me just double check something here. Uh, there should be fast viewport. So this should actually even make it faster. Yeah. Actually, let's, let's first do a very quick render test between Blender and uh, e-cycles. So with this actual setup, so this is the same, uh, the same exact uh, setup. So if I push render, I'm going to render first on um, e-cycles. That's what this is. Yep. So this scene with uh, 32 samples is going to take about 16 seconds. It looks like, uh, and then it has its uh, its own denoising setup, which is works better than the Blender setup. Um, and then we'll just go back to regular Blender, do the same scene, make sure we're at 32 samples. Yep. GPU compute. Okay. We'll render that same scene. And, uh, yeah, I could, I could tweak the settings a little bit, but, um, but it's not going to be, it's, it's still going to be night and day between eCycles and Blender. I can promise you. And I've tried a bunch of stuff, especially when I first bought it a few months ago. 
I did a lot of side by side comparisons. I wish I kind of would have documented my progress then, um, but it, it, either way, it doesn't matter. You can already see, I mean, we're at 24 seconds and we're still going. Well, so it was, it was 18 seconds versus 43 seconds. Oh, because it included the compositing time, but it's the same uh, denoising set up on both, I believe. So uh, either way, you get the sense. So it's, it's twice as fast in these cycles as, as in Blender. And that's pretty much true for any for any scene rendering. Uh, and the quick settings are awesome. Uh, basically, you click on this little button and you can say, I want a very fast render. And uh, let me just switch to this one. So that, that one was 18 seconds. So if we go to slot one and we render again, this is using the fast preset. Uh, it's going to render in um, four seconds. <laughs> now this doesn't give us, uh, this cl is clamping too much, mainly because of the way this scene is set up and it probably has to do with this, this clamp here. So let's go to the fast setting and see if that makes it any better. Yeah, so, uh, so now we're at seven seconds rendering and the result is not quite as good as is not good. Yeah, it's it's not quite as good as this scene. Uh, it's definitely not. It's definitely changing some things. But again, for a fast preview, this was 18 seconds, and this was 12 seconds. Uh, and of course, on a on a more complex scene um, with all kinds of stuff, you know that you can you can really you can see how it, 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 it adds up quick. And it's just nice to be able to quickly go back and forth between. Uh, all these different settings without having to go and then also you have your sample count right at the front so you can change that right at the front instead of having to go through and find where is the sampling I mean I always 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 takes me a minute to find it uh, I like having all these settings right up front um, I like the idea you know the the the, the ability to turn off on and off refractive uh, caustics uh, if I need them or I don't usually I don't um, but uh, and then the other thing is you can render the frame in the background which actually is faster than rendering it uh, otherwise. So the last thing I will say is that uh, I've already set it up here, but this is the, the denoising setup in, uh, uh, this is how it looks and it looks scary, right? But all you have to do, in fact, I'll just go ahead and delete all this. All you have to do to set it up uh, in eCycles is you, you under your, your render tab here, um, you scroll down in where it says AI denoise, uh, you can do generate and it automatically generates uh, the denoise pass for you. So it's really, really helpful. You also have very quick settings to adjust the, uh, the denoising strength. And you can see all it's doing is changing this factor. But again, it's just nice to have this all right in my render tab. Uh, it's nice to have all this, you know, so, so uh, let me just go back to my, my, my settings here. So I could say, okay, I want to do that and see what that does. What what does that look like? Instead of having to go to the comp compositing tab and then change the factor and then go back and forth and do this and then do that, I, I definitely highly, highly, highly suggest uh, if you have the money or if you're thinking about if you have an RTX card especially and you already have and you're already thinking about upgrading your graphics card, you might first consider just buying eCycles because it'll be cheaper and uh, it'll be probably better. <laughs> I mean, I, I honestly don't think I can go back to using regular Blender after uh, uh, after using eCycles. I should also mention that every plugin I have, and I have oh, I have tons of them, uh, they all work the same as uh, as Blender because it is just Blender. Uh, the guy's just rewritten some of the code to optimize the, the render times, and he's done some different stuff with the denoising. Okay, guys, that's it for this review. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments, and feel free to reach out to the developer. I'm sure he's happy to talk about eCycles as well. Uh, all right, take care.